let x be a topological space and y a subset of x, uh, we're going to define open sets as follows. We're going to say an, a subset A of y is open in y if there is an open set O and x such that this is true. So we're defining what it means for a set to be open in y. I said define a topology, but in this problem we're actually going to prove that with this definition of open sets, uh, we do have uh, a, a topology on y. So proof. This is called the subspace topology. So the first condition we have to show is that both the empty set and y are open in y. So we just have to carefully use uh, the definition of what it means for a set to be open in y. So to show that the empty set is open, we obviously have to write down empty set, and we have to write down an equal sign, and we have to write down y. And we want to intersect this with an open set in x. Well, the natural choice is to use the empty set. Why? Well, because it's true, and because the empty set is open. It's the empty set is open in x. And this is true because x is a topological space. So this shows that the empty set is open in y. And we can do something similar to show that y is open in y. We can write y equals y intersection x. And x is open in x. Right? This is open in x because x is a topological space. So y is open in y. So that shows the first condition that both the empty set and y are both open in y. The second condition is to show that the union of any family of open subsets of y is also an open subset of y. So take any collection, so take any collection of open sets in y. Let's call this collection uh, A, and then let's index it with an alpha, where alpha runs through some, some index set. And then for each alpha in I, because each of these guys is open, there exists some open subset of X, say O sub alpha, where O sub alpha is open such that we can do the following, right? What does it mean for each of these a's to be open? It means that a sub alpha is equal to y intersected with o sub alpha. And this is true for each alpha, right? Now we'll just look at the union of the a sub alphas and hopefully show that it's open in y. So if we just write it down, so we take the union of our a's, a lot of notation here. This is equal to the union of these guys. So y intersected with our little open guys here, O sub alpha. And again, alpha is running through some index set. And we can use, use basic uh, set properties and write this as y intersected with the union of the O sub alphas. I don't know why I put that in parentheses. <laughs> and just to avoid some writing here, this is open in x. Right, this is open in X because the union of any op the union of any number of open subsets of X is also open in X because X is a topological space. So we have Y intersected with an open set in X. So this shows that the union of the A's is open in Y. And the last condition is to show that any uh, finite intersection of open sets of y is also in y. So suppose a sub 1 through a sub n are open in y. And what does this mean? This means uh, there exists open sets o sub 1 through o sub and subsets of x, O sub i are all open, such that we can write each of the a sub i's, a lot of notation, as y intersected with O sub i. Right? Now what we do is we simply look at the intersection of the a sub i's. So it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy. It's uh, not, not too bad. So we take this intersection, 
Now, if you're just getting used to working with uh, topological spaces and stuff, the notation is a little bit, uh, it takes some getting used to. So each of these a sub i's is this. So this is the intersection. And this is y intersected with our little o sub i's. I used o for open, just to make it a little more clear. So this is y intersected with the, I'll put this in parentheses, with the intersection of the o sub i's. Didn't really have to put it in parentheses there. And this is a finite intersection of open subsets of X. So this is open in X. So we have Y intersected with an open subset of X. So this term here, this whole set here, this is actually open in Y. But what is this? This is the finite intersection of our A sub I's. So this shows that this finite intersection of open sets of Y is open in Y. And that's it, right? We've shown it's a topological space. So when you have um, these three conditions, again, you say that uh, Y is a subspace of X. This is called the subspace topology or the induced uh, topology on Y. So this Y is a subspace. Ah, subspace of x. So worth seeing it once. I hope that made sense.